Hi, and welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to put color in the council. In Repel It, you can automatically jump to just pasting this color council and then start coding with it. But in uh, the Eclipse IDE, you're going to have to get an extension first. And for other IDEs, there might be a similar or different process. But after you've got the uh, proper extensions, then the steps after there is the same. So what you're going to do first is download the extension in Eclipse. And you can see in this navigation part, we're going to type or press help, and we're going to press the install new software. You're going to get this pop-up window. In the description, there's going to be a link that looks something like this. I'm just going to copy it from the notepad I have here. And you're also going to have the txt file with the color councils that I'm going to be talking about a little bit later while you need it. So what you're going to do is here and press add, and you're going to paste this link in both the name and the location. And press add. Now you're going to get these two options, and the console and external filter. I'm going to press both of them, and you're going to see the next arrow pop up at the bottom. Let it load, and you're going to look at this. You're going to review it if you need to, but I'm going to press next. Then you can look at the agreements, but I've already looked at them, so I'm going to accept these terms, and I'm going to finish. Then it's going to need me to restart the IDE, so I'll pause the recording and then to restart the ID now. Now that I've restarted the ID, I will be able to apply color into the council. What you're going to need to do as the second step is that you're going to have to copy paste the txt file with the account so colors class into an empty file. And let me a little bit go over what this does. So this string will reset it to the normal color. This will erase and this will hide it so that it's going to leave a space for it, but it's going to be white or it's going to blend the console background so that users can't see it. These are the regular colors, black, red, green, blue, purple, and this is strikeout, which will just do a line across it like you're striking something out. This is the italic, this is the bold, this is the underline, and this will do a black background, a red background, a green background, and this will do a little more intensity. This will do it with a, a high intensity with the bold, and this one will do high intensity with the background. Most of the time, you'll see either the shell commands, or you'll just see the regular colors, bold, background, high intensity, bold, high intensity, and backgrounds. But in this version, I've added the underline, the italic, and the strikeout, and the hidden. So you'll be able to have more features. So how do I apply color to the council? If I just do a simple print one line, I say hello, and I run it, then is going to be black. It's going to be the normal council color. But to change it to a different color, you're going to say the name of the class, which is council colors dot what you want. So I'm just going to, to pick blue because in black, it won't be as noticeable. And you're just going to concatenate it to the string. And now you see that it's blue. After this, if I do another system dot print line, line and spell that properly, and I run it, you'll see that both of them are blue, meaning that well, if I don't want the next line to be blue, I can add in front of it or behind the last 
system dot the print line console colors dot reset and this will reset it to the normal console color. I'm just going to show you a couple of the other commands. There's bold, one italic. Strike out. It's actually probably called strike. There's a line through it. So I hope that you find this helpful during your coding and hope to see you next time.